Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas and of course I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia and we're here with a very special Australia Day episode of the YouTube show and yeah, we're going to do a bit more guitar fun and um, show you how to play a pretty iconic Australian rock song called Sounds of Then also known as This Is Australia by a band called Ganga Jang now, I did try and look up the sheet music for this um, on the um, like ultimateguitar.com and a few other places and couldn't find it because every time I put in the name of the band uh, Ganga Jang, it substituted another search term which was quite, um, uh, yeah, not for kids. But anyway, moving forward. If you don't know the song, go check it out, and I think that's actually one of the lines in the song, so, hey, that's a win. Hey, fun fact, speaking of Australia Day, it's the 26th of January each year, and it's a day where we get to celebrate, you know, how awesome the country is. Mind you, here in Australia, we celebrate how awesome the country is every day of the year, but, um, yeah, Australia Day is actually when... Um, the uh, first fleet arrived in Sydney Harbour and um, settled Australia and yeah it's a really cool day and yeah always good to sort of um, look back and think about how just hardcore these dudes must have been coming to Australia in the first place because that's a hell of a long way by boat from um, uh, the United Kingdom to Australia and plus they couldn't just cruise down the Suez Canal or the Panama Canal or anything like that they had to do it the old-fashioned way so they did well and of course you know that's well we've got all this wonderful stuff now which is awesome and um yeah I want to shout out to our indigenous people here in Australia as well and acknowledge them and of course their custodianship of the land and yeah everyone in Australia is great and wonderful and um yeah it's a real pleasure to be here I've probably mentioned it a couple of times in my channel maybe once or twice that um you know i'm i really love australia and you know this is where i'm from i might have mentioned that i uh, can't recall actually but you know um yeah this is australia sounds of then now here's another interesting uh fact there are only two continents on earth that have never been invaded one of them of course is australia now see if you can guess what the other one is. I'll give you the answer at the end of the video. And um, yeah, if anyone wants to take a guess and put it in the comments, whoever gets it right first, I'll pin ya. So um, yeah, have a crack at it with this quiz. Anyway, sounds of then. Uh, like I said, I had to figure this out the old fashioned way because searching for Ganga Jang, you know, yielded, uh, yeah, just don't go there. Anyway, so, we're tuned to E standard today, a uh, bit of a rarity on the show, I know, and it's, um, you probably recognise this tagger, um, like the little melody straight off the bat, which is, no, wait a minute, let's give it a bit more juice, no, it's not that, it's, nice little tag and basically it's the 11th fret on the G the 10th fret on the B the 12th fret on the B that little second part of the melody is the 9th fret on the B the 12th fret on the B again so that's showing up a bit and then the 10th fret on the high E. So that, we put that together, you get... And you get that little riff that sort of introduces the song. Under that is a chord progression which is as follows, and this is just some power chord stuff, and it's cool from what I can hear anyway. It is B. So if you don't know a B power chord, that is the 2nd fret on the A string, the 4th fret on the D, and let's chuck in the 4th fret on the G as well, just to give it that extra juice. 
yeah, so. So that's kind of your um, main little riff there, which has that. So you put them together and bang, you've got the opening to the song. And thankfully, the verses to the song follow that. So that gets you kind of, I think I hear the sound of then and people talking. So, and they kind of give it a bit of extra juice with the. which is where you're just sort of barring the chord, you know, and just holding the, like, these high notes or on the B and the E, you know, with the rest of your pointer finger. So you can see I'm doing that and just mashing it down on those. Now, of course, that brings us to the pre-chorus, where after that main sort of riff, we do this. Well, that's pretty much what you do. So, of course, that first little bit, again, I just played that uh, riff from the verse. The chorus which is brings home the hairs brings home the night time as well and that's just E so, well you don't have to play it like I do but this is how I like to play it just giving a big old the juice with a big old open E power chord probably showed you that before but I'll show it again just for those who might be new to the show open E Second fret on the A. Second fret on the D. And just give that a big old bit of juice. And then back to that B chord, which we've been playing a lot. And then we just hold that for a bit. So we go. Now from there, so as I said, we've got Now we want to do a big old D. So you can do that a number of ways. You can do that as a power chord up here on the 5th fret on the A and the 7th fret on the D. Use your discretion. But for the sake of this particular song, I like to do that open D chord which is like a real banger and you can't go wrong with that any day of the week and what that is of course is the D string the second fret on the B third fret on no wait sorry what did I say yeah second fret on the G third fret on the B and if you're feeling like just pushing it over the edge second fret on the high E gonna get that across the line and hit that for six out of the Adelaide Oval right over that vintage scoreboard there's a local reference anyway um yeah so that whole bit there so again from the verse is that that, that certain texture that certain smell so that's that <laughs> goes back to that E chord one last time just before the chorus kicks in so like I said we played that D that and then we just hit it up with a big old 
E power chord, as I explained before. So again, from the top, brings home. Play it like that, or play it how you like, whatever sounds good to your ears. Let's see what's happening in the chorus, and this is pretty simple. And um, well, it's not simple, it's just um, it is what it is. It goes, of course, you know, the melody out on the patio, we sit, and the chords underneath that are that B chord we've been talking about. That it's a nice, lovely chord progression which is just basically and that's that D chord uh, but it, I play it as a power chord so again that's seven no fifth fret on the A seventh fret on the D and seventh fret on the G chuck them together you get and you just move that up another two frets which is a whole tone, and get yourself some seventh fret on the um, the A there, ninth fret on the D, and ninth fret on the G. And like I said, you just have that little chord progression, and you go. laugh and think that this is Australia. So it's that simple. So give it a go if you can. And um, yeah, as I said, don't type in Ganga Jang in the search engine on um, uh, ultimateguitar.com. Uh, now there is a solo on, uh, of course, um, it wouldn't be a proper Australian song without a solo in it. And it is kind of based around that. <laughs> that little motif um, so they play it with like a slide so you get that kind of um, I don't have a slide with me but you know you sort of get this sort of sound um, you can probably figure it out yourself and um, like I haven't had time to because I'm too busy to celebrate an Australia Day but I might revisit that in another video um, if not for the solo you can just play this so use your discretion um, it's up to you anyway back to brass tacks and bringing back the facts um, yeah as I said Australia the continent has never been invaded um, the Japanese Imperial Army did give it a go and tried it um, back in the 1940s but then they realized they were messing with the wrong people so they sort of went back with their tail between their legs after they realized who they were messing with um, so yeah thank you to our ancestors for um, fending off the Japanese Imperial Army and of course no disrespect to anyone in Japan and um, anything like that, that, you know, let bygones be bygones, that was, you know, a thing, but that's pretty much the closest that Australia has ever come to being invaded. Now, in regards to, of course, my trivia quiz question, are you ready? other continent that has never been invaded, aside from Australia, is Antarctica. Of course there are research bases from many international communities down there, um, and many countries explore the region, and you know, as being in a research base, uh, the name indicates they're at bases doing research and science stuff down there, so there you go. I hope you learned something today. So Australia and Antarctica, the only two continents on Earth that have never faced any kind of invasion. So that's kind of cool to know. Tell your friends. 
Anyway, I just want to wrap things up by saying thank you for watching this far. Happy Australia Day to everyone here in Australia and of course everyone around the world. I hope you're celebrating it and you know, you're just digging Australia and how cool it is. And of course, we'll spend the other 364 days of the year, or in this case, 365 days of the year, because um, it's a leap year, which makes it, you know, 366 days. Um, yeah, just enjoying everything about life and how wonderful it is here. Um, if you've watched the video this far and you enjoyed it, I want to hear, give me a big old thumbs up and leave a comment, of course, and um, yeah, keep those quiz answers coming if, um, if you can. And of course, if you've watched it this far and you hate the video and whatnot, then you're an absolute legend for sticking with it this far and I appreciate that too. So like and subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, all that YouTube jazz, and um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, it's raining a bit outside, isn't it?